Why might I not be getting all the rehab I want from my arm or my leg? It's a difficult question to answer. It could be in part due to the fact that the resources needed, that is your insurance, doesn't cover that, that you don't have the um, additional uh, resources, financial resources to receive more rehab. That's kind of a shame because I think in this country, as in many other places, we should be entitled to all the rehab that's required to get the best care and results we can, especially if we've had a catastrophic injury, such as a stroke. So that's what's holding us back. Now, the other possibility, and this is very important to remember, a decision may be made not to continue your further rehab because you have plateaued. Plateaued means you haven't gotten any better. That doesn't mean you can't get better. It means at that moment in time, after several sessions, you haven't gotten better. Why might that be? It could very well be that you kind of need a rest to get away from the effort. But more importantly, in my experience, is you probably haven't worked as much as you should be. Remember what we said before, success requires repetition. A lot of doing the activity that's working towards a specific task over and over and over. And often when someone plateaus, and we ask the question, well, how many times have you practiced this at home as we prescribe for you? And the answer is, well, not as much as I should. Not as much as I should. There's a pretty good chance that you may plateau. And if you're not continuing to improve, the therapist can't provide more services for you. So there needs to be a mutual agreement about what it means to continue your practice. Because without that mutual agreement, then you, you, you might very well plateau. Sometimes therapists do this crazy thing, like they actually write a contract with their patients called a behavioral contract, where the patient and the therapist agree that when the patient isn't in the clinic or being seen or overseen by the therapist, they agree to do certain numbers of activities or repetitions of movements over a certain period of time, and they actually sign a contract saying that and then when they see the therapist the next time, they actually show them that someone has counted the numbers of repetition. But in the, in the absence of doing that, we have to run the risk of being flattened out. And, and quite honestly, a therapist can't continue to see you if you've plateaued. So every effort needs to be made to continue your efforts. And if you think you can't do it, or if your care partner says you're not doing it, you need to have a discussion with the therapist on how you can change that kind of behavior so you're more engaged, you're more actively involved in the devices that you're using to improve further.